guys welcome back to another video this is motivation for young christians welcome back welcome back today we're going to be diving into john chapter 14 verses 15 to 21 begin we're going to start off with a prayer by me and then end off with a prayer by me if you guys can you please bow your heads and close your eyes father god we thank you for this day that you have made i will rejoice and be glad in the god I pray that you continue to be with us each and every single day god i pray that now as i'm about to dive into this time of your work god I pray that your hands will bless and cover the work, God. I pray that you'll be able to help me to speak through the people, God. I pray that we'll all be able to have a good comprehension of the word, God, and apply it to our life, God, and have a better understanding of it, God. In Jesus, in your holy name, amen. If you love me, obey my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate who will never leave you. He is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. The world cannot receive him because it isn't looking for him and doesn't recognize him. But you know him because he lives with you now and later will be in you. No, I will not abandon you as orphans. I will come to you. Soon the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Since I live, you also will live. When I am raised to life again, you will know that I am in my Father and you are in me. And I am in you. Those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. And because they love me, my Father will love them. And I will love them and reveal myself to each of them. My understanding of verses 15 to 21 is that if you love Jesus, you'll obey his command. Uh, Jesus was going to send another advocate before his disciples because they were needing of one they really um wanted one and that advocate was going to be the holy spirit who would lead them into all truth and the world wouldn't receive them because it isn't looking for them and it doesn't recognize him but it will live in us now and later it will live with us now and later and it will never abandon us it will always be there for us and he was saying that soon the world will no longer see me, which is true, because after he sacrificed in the cross, he will raise back up and then go to heaven. And Jesus was saying that when he raised again, you'll know that I am in my Father, and you're in me, and I am in you. And he's also saying that if you accept my commands and obey them and love me, the, the Father will, will love you back. And he will reveal himself to each and every single one of you. This is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for coming back each and every single week. This is the last Bible study for the year, episode 31. Thank you guys for continuing to tune in all the way from episode 1 through 31. Thank you guys. We'll be back next year with more Bible study. This is the last one. If you haven't already liked the video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on your post notification. That way, anytime I upload a new video, YouTube will send you notification. This is it for the video. This is Motivation for Young Christian. I'm out. Enjoy your New Year's. Peace.